football team returned to their old ways with the win against UNLV. Cougar Diary gives us the update. Right now we have a unique opportunity. We still got five games left in our season. Uh, five games, that's, that's half the season still left. And I can't tell you right now how excited I am for the rest of our season. And I can promise you that I'm going to give you everything that I got. And I'm going to fight and I'm going to do everything I got to make sure that it's right. championships and Max helped us win a lot of football games in his time here. The game following a loss like that is a huge game for any team uh, to get the momentum back, to get the ball rolling again. Today we came out banging. Another first down chance to the air. O'Neal Chambers! Touchdown BYU! It was real good. It was, it was exciting. I just wanted to hurry up and get off the field so I can just think about what really happened. Chambers! Chambers! Stop for the touchdown! O'Neal Chambers with his first score as a Cougar. Usually a fade doesn't happen from that far away from the 20-yard line. He gets the leap, and again, that's just a tremendous throw. Four-man rush, and Max Hall will keep it. Makes a little move. He's got a first down and then some. Gets a nice block from Michael Reed across midfield. Forced out of bounds. 40 and 45, 50 and out of bounds at the UNLV 47-yard line. And BYU's longest run from scrimmage this year comes from, of course, Max Hall. A run to Cox. Cox gets back to the goal line, gets just passed, he'll get forward progress to the one, driven back. Kick is blocked, in the end zone, deflected out to the 10-yard line, caught by BYU at the 15, Brandon Bradley to the 11. And a flag flies after the play, the Cougars deflected that kick. Max at the shotgun, takes the snap, hands off to Harvey, sweeping it right, turns the corner with the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown! You know, we kind of had a chip on our shoulder, and uh, guys, guys went and got after it. This time, it's Big Travis Bright leading the way, taking advantage of it. Ooga, skipping and hopping his way into the end zone. Coops back on top. It's split right. Hands off Bowie. Bowie shoots the gap. Bowie's got the room to rumble. Bowie gets through a tackle 30. 25 and 20 for Bowie Bakabuda. 15 yard line taking a tackle to the 13 yard line. It's a 32 yard run for Bowie Bakabuda. And that is the longest run from scrimmage this season for BYU. But now to the air play action pass. And Bowie doing it on the ground. And Touchdown reception for Fui Vakapuna. If ever there was somebody that would ignite this crowd, it would be number one. It was nice. I, I, I don't think I've had a catching touchdown since 06. They can't stop it, baby. Keep executing. They can't stop it.
Nelby brings a bunch as Max goes deep down the near sideline for Austin Colley. Makes the catch inside the 20 yard line out of bounds there. Austin Colley gets BYU in the blue zone. They'll spot him at the 15, a 30 yard catch. For Austin Colley, he's over 100 yards for the sixth consecutive game. BYU on top, but only by three. Michael Johnson brings it out from three yards deep in his end zone and buried at the 16-yard line by the Cougar that blocked the punt earlier, Brian Correa. When it comes down to winning football games, there has to be grit, there has to be determination, there has to be execution at key times, and there has to be enough plays made to win. Six minutes left. Uh, we know we probably the last time we get the ball, and we have to execute. And we have to move the ball downfield, and if we don't do that, we, we lose the game. Actual throw. He's looking to his right. Throws underneath. Harvey makes the catch. First down. BYU to the 33-yard line. Play pass, and there's Fuhr. Making a few rebels pay as Vakapuna has a first down and goal for BYU. Max goes for his man, Dennis Pitta, makes the catch of the one, walks into the end zone, touchdown, Dennis Pitta the touchdown. And BYU will go for two to make it a converted touchdown margin. Rolling to the right, throw to Uga, conversion is good, two-pointer for BYU, the Cougars lead 42 to 35, and that was as wide open as Dennis Pitta was. You know, I don't think anybody likes to be tested. You know, I'm pretty sure I can, I can vouch for everybody on the team. That's how we're supposed to play. It's crunch time, and we did it every time, baby. Nice job, man. It's exciting. It's a big rush. 14 seconds to go. Cooper's 42, Rebels 35. Steps to throw. He pumps. Looks. Scrambles. He's going down. He's back to the 25. UNLV needs a timeout to keep the game from running out. 7.4, they call it. We have a great team, we have a great group of guys, and uh, all of us wanted to win that game. And uh, I was gonna try to do everything I could to help my team. Let's get it, defense! Snaps the plate, scrambles out to his right with five seconds to go. Throws for the end zone, the ball is up in the air, and it is intercepted by the Cougars in the end zone, that's gonna do it! The clock runs out, the game runs out. On UNLV, the Cougars survive 42 to 35. Andrew Rich makes the interception the deal for the Cougars. That's what our team is about. Congratulations. Great job. Woo! Woo!